If you have this sticker displayed on your generator, it means there's a bonding jumper connecting the neutral, ground, and metal frame together. In this video, I'm going to overview three different generator configurations and explain grounding and bonding requirements for each scenario. I'm taking these examples straight from the NEC 2020 codebook. If you live in the US, you most likely need to abide by these rules. Do a quick Google search to confirm. In this scenario, you are using your generator at a construction site or similar, where you have appliances or tools plugged in directly to the 20 amp GFCI receptacles. In this case, the neutral to ground bonding jumper is required to stay in place and you do not need to install a ground rod. In this scenario, the neutral wire is continuous. Follow the neutral wire with me. It originates at the generator and is continuous all the way back to the electrical panel. That means your transfer switch or interlock system never disconnects the neutral wire as shown here. In this case, this entire setup is considered as one single system. So the neutral to ground bonding jumper at your generator will need to be removed because your electrical panel already has this installed here. By code, only one bonding jumper is allowed per electrical system. The continuous neutral allows you to use your existing grounding electrode here. So no additional ground rod is required by code as shown in this exhibit. Refer to your user manual for instructions on how to remove this bonding jumper. When you do this modification, you are required to install a new sticker on your generator. This is a code requirement. In this scenario, the neutral wire gets disconnected completely at the transfer switch. Since the neutral wire gets disconnected, this generator setup is considered as a separately derived system. This means this configuration is treated as two independent electrical systems. Each electrical system will need its own separate bonding jumper here, and each system will need its own grounding electrode here. These are very important grounding details no other channels are talking about. If you found this helpful, consider subscribing for more electrical videos.